dipersembahkan oleh Thanks for staying with us. We're still talking to Alan Solo of Infrastructure Asia. Alan, if you were to highlight a number of um, exhibitions, a number of events that will be taking place in the Indonesia Infrastructure Week. I'd say the Regional Governments Conference is the flagship show and it's very exciting. Mm -hmm. That's always mm -hmm. got a full house. What we're really excited about this year is the National Broadband Symposium. Yeah. The Indonesian government, Bapanas Bureau, has actually determined what they call as launched the Indonesian Broadband Plan. But okay. the Indonesian Broadband Plan sets out the targets how we're going to get there is another issue. The mm -hmm. National Broadband Symposium mm -hmm. is comprising some of the top speakers in the ICT arena mm -hmm. that are coming together with, the, uh, with how to achieve these targets and what are the benefits of these targets, e-health, e-education, mm -hmm. e-government. These are mm -hmm. critical aspects that can catapult Indonesia mm -hmm. uh, towards their targets. Mm -hmm. yeah? And I understand Telkom Indonesia is playing a big, a big role in Telkom this. Indonesia has been an inspiration for us the whole way through. Mm -hmm. They've actually been helping us tremendously. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And they're going to be some of the keynote speakers. Pak Arif Yahya has just moved over into the ministry position, yeah. so we'll be replacing with the new president director. Okay. Okay. Exciting times. Also, uh, another uh, event uh, the in the sector, business the form. aviation the business. The aviation business form. Again, the broadband and the aviation have the unique capacity to connect Indonesia across the archipelago like mm -hmm. no other sectors. Mm -hmm. The aviation business form, I have to say thank you to Lion Group, to uh, mm -hmm. Parosti Kirana and to uh, my friend Captain Daniel Putu because uh, of their strong support. Actually, the anywhere else in the world, you'll see that airports and aviation are two separate downstream topics. Yeah. But Today in Indonesia, you have a surging demand in the aviation sector. Mm -hmm. uh, you have groups like Lion that have placed world record orders with both Boeing and Airbus, mm -hmm. yet there isn't enough tarmac on the ground in mm -hmm. order to land these mm -hmm. planes and in order to park them. So this is really a, you know, anywhere else in the world, like the Dubai show that we do, mm -hmm. the Dubai Air Show, or in London, or in Texas, you'll find a separate downstream. But here in Indonesia, where demand so outpaces the uh, supply. It's mm -hmm. important to get these guys under one room, under one roof, and solve these problems. And that's what's taking place over here. I'm really grateful to the Lion Group for supporting us and, uh, and taking the flag on this with us, with Ancasa Puerto 1 yeah. and Ancasa Puerto 2. Yeah. It would be too much to say that this also gives the opportunity to uh, the main stakeholder, in this case Lion Air, for it to actually improve itself because it, it's time for it. It's a great time for it to prove to the public that it's more than capable in, in boosting the infrastructure. I um, from what I understand, they're actually, you know, it's, a, it's an interesting time over here. You've got airlines like uh, Garuda uh, plan, making plans for Labuan Bajo Airport. You've mm -hmm. got uh, Air Asia uh, uh, active in the airport development in Bandung. And mm -hmm. you've got the Lion Group who are actually developing some of their own airports. The Halim uh, former Air Force Base has been taken uh, uh, and being managed by the Lion Group. And I understand there's some plans for another airport mm. not so far from Jakarta. Mm. But um, yeah, it's a very good opportunity. Lion is uh, certainly leading the way in this sector. They're uh, probably Indonesia's uh, uh, a hero of Indonesia going forward. Mm -hmm. Now, if you were to highlight, um, um, as we are running out of time, mm -hmm. um, to highlight what are the events that, that the public should be looking out for in this, how they can participate as well, besides uh, the survey mm -hmm. at satnedidengar.org, which, mm -hmm. uh, which is free, yeah. by the way. This is how you can actually uh, participate in, in the survey by um, Taking the survey. Logging on logging to satnyadinengar.org. Exactly. And uh, participate. And if you're lucky, you'll win a ticket because it's the only way into the room. You it's the only way you can actually get to the concert. There's no, there's no, these tickets are not for sale. It's only for, this is a gratitude to the people who took the survey. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, um, Ellen, thank you very much for uh, talking to us about Indonesia Infrastructure Week. It's My an pleasure. exciting time. Um, I'm sure not all the stakeholders are looking forward into um, meeting, sharing ideas, and giving solutions. That's what it is. Get Any last words? Perhaps? Yeah, everybody come to the exhibition. Visit the exhibition. Get involved. There's only mm -hmm. one way to get involved. is to sort of take a stake mm -hmm. and look at what's there. On the floor of this exhibition, you're going to see everything that's available to Indonesia now mm -hmm. at this moment in time. This mm -hmm. is where the future starts now is what we say. And for you personally, you're, you have a very optimistic outlook of um, Indonesia's infrastructure development. I do. We're very hopeful. Very hopeful for the new administration. We think um, um, there's an old expression, people change when the pain of remaining the same is mm -hmm. greater than the mm -hmm. pain of change. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's time for change. It's time to see things going forward. All the good work that's gone on before, the table is set for a stunning uh, development going forward. All right. Thank you very much, Alan. Thank you. Thank you, Flo. And that was the perspective with Alan Solo, Chief Executive of Infrastructure Asia, that will be hosting the 2014 Indonesia Infrastructure Week from 5 to 7 of November in partnership with the government, including Ministry of Bapanas, Ministry of Public Works, Chamber of Commerce, Kadin, and Detignas and private sector. Thank you for joining us. I'm Florence Armin. Goodbye.
dipersembahkan oleh